So we'll get to our ongoing coverage of the coronavirus outbreak shortly. But first, the other big news story of the day. North Korea is at it again, firing at least three short-range projectiles towards the EC this morning. Uh, we're joined live on the phone by our national defence correspondent, Kim Jion. She is at Seoul's Defence Ministry uh, for us to bring us more details. Jion, another provocation from the north. Yes, Mark. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff has confirmed that North Korea fired at least three short-range projectiles from the northeastern town of Sondok toward the EC at around 7.36 a.m. Monday. The projectiles traveled an estimated distance of 200 kilometers and reached an altitude of 30 kilometers. A South Korean military official said there was a roughly 20-second gap between two of the launches and a gap of over one minute before the other launch. The South Korean military is currently monitoring the situation while maintaining its defense posture in case of additional launches and is closely working with the U.S. to verify more information about this latest launch. The Joint Chiefs called on the North to refrain from engaging in actions that do not help lower tensions on the Korean Peninsula. That message was reiterated by Seoul's presidential office, where the National Security Director convened an emergency meeting of security-related ministers to to discuss the launch. The Blue House expressed strong concern about North Korea's combined military drills that began February 28th, and military sources say it see the moves as a way for the North Korean regime to consolidate its power amid the coronavirus outbreak by turning its military's focus onto external international factors. They also say the recent launch includes moves to gain an upper hand in the stalled denuclearization talks with the U.S. Back to you, Mark.